Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Al YouTube channel and I am back today with the final video in my Stamp Joy 2021 vlog series. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you what we did on our last half day in Des Moines and I'm going to share with you everything I got, bought, and made during the weekend, including what was in my swag bag. Then at the end of the video, I'm going to tell you about a special giveaway where you can win some Tailored Expressions goodies of your own. I hope you'll stick around and enjoy the vlog. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. Let's go ahead and take a look at our last few hours in Des Moines. Well, it is the last morning of our trip. We did sleep in like we planned. We set an alarm for 10 o'clock, which was almost a good thing. I woke up for the final time at like 9.48. We're just gonna slowly get our showers, get packed, get checked out. We do have until noon, thank goodness. And then some of the ladies in one of the lines yesterday told us about a scrapbook store or a crafting store that's in Ankeny, which is also where Tailored Expressions is, called Memory Bound. So Lisa and I were going to go check that out for maybe an hour or so before um, she gets picked up and I head off to Nebraska. I would love for you to let us know if you have any questions. You can leave those in that comment section below and I'll answer those about our time if we didn't answer it on the live last night, which speaking of the live last night, we had a great time recapping our adventures with you all. If you haven't seen it yet, I will have a link in that description box that you can check out the replay. I'm looking forward to re-watching it with the chat box because I couldn't really pay much attention and just to see what everybody was saying. I think that is it for now. We'll maybe hopefully get a few shots of the trip to Memory Bound and inside the store if they'll let us. But I'm going to go ahead and go get ready so we can get checked out. After my shower, I took some time to start packing up what was left of the food stuff. I put all my clothes back in my suitcase, got all my electronics and crafty stuff together while Lisa did her thing in the bathroom. Now you'll see here in just a little bit, she comes out of there and she must have been attacking something. <laughs> Here's a look at the t-shirt we got from the event. You did see that I had it on at the beginning of this video. We were able to get packed up and out of the hotel and loaded up in time to meet the noon checkout. And then we headed to Memory Bound Scrapbooks. Along the way, you'll see here we saw the Capitol again, and it was overall a pretty quick trip, just a little bit on the interstate and a little bit on some smaller roads. All right, we made it. Right there in the background is Memory Bound Scrapbooks. So we'll see if we can record a little bit in there. If not, maybe I can take a couple pictures. Lisa and I were both amazed at how much this store had. It was like just stocked from floor to ceiling, wall to wall with so many crafty goodies. It has been quite a while since I've seen a local scrapbook or stamp store like this. Now, one of the favorite things I ran into was a memory bound line of stamps and dies and even stencils that had to do with Iowa. Now, even though I don't live in that state anymore, I did have to buy almost everything from this line and I put in a couple words to please, please, please make a set for Nebraska. 
If you are ever in the area, I highly recommend stopping by Memory Bound. All right, we just got done at Memory Bound. Bad. That's and definitely, great. if you are in the Des Moines, Ankeny area, you got to stop there. We could have probably spent hours there, but and it is hundreds of dollars. Yeah. So. But it is time to get back on the road and get home. I might do a little bit of on the road, but otherwise, if I don't, I'll catch up with you back in Nebraska. Bye. Bye, guys. Well, guys, Lisa just got picked up and is heading home, and I'm going to be doing the same. Um, thank you so much to Tailored Expressions, to all of the volunteers who came and helped with Stamp Joy, to the hotel staff and to the event center staff. Everything was just so great this weekend. And also a super special thank you to my sister for meeting up with me. I had a ball. And now I'm looking forward to Stamp Joy 2022. I spent most of the drive home thinking about the fun I had over the weekend. And I will tell you, I was so happy to be home to see my family and I was even happy to see a couple little kitties who decided to hop in my suitcase while I was trying to unpack some of it. I was super glad to be home, but I also had so much fun at Stamp Joy and I can't wait to go back again. They are gonna have another virtual event in the spring and another in-person event next fall. I hope that you'll consider joining in on one. I am in no way affiliated with Tailored Expressions, but they do put on a wonderful event. And hey, if you go next fall, maybe we'll get to meet each other. Why don't we go ahead now and take a look at what came in the swag bags. The first thing, which I won't be able to show you out of the bag because I am wearing it, is this Top Crafty To Me t-shirt. Everybody got one. Many people wore theirs on the second day and it is so nice and soft. I plan on wearing it lots when I'm down here getting crafty. The first and biggest item in the swag bag was this Misty carrier from My Sweet Petunia. It will fit the original Misty and it has plenty more pockets for storage. Next up is a little pop-up trash can. This was donated by Stamp and Storage. They also, as well as My Sweet Petunia, donated lots of prizes for the weekend. This is gonna be super handy to have on my craft desk to throw those little scraps until I can get them to the trash can. The next thing from the bag was our make and take kit. Now I took everything out that was in here before because I will share that later, but what it came with was 10 little baggies inside, one for each make and take, and all of the cardstock was like pre-cut, pre-scored. We just had to do like the stamping, the embossing, the finishing work, and putting the cards together at each of the different stations. This also included in the back an event agenda for the weekend, and now I got some great storage for cardstock and other things in my craft room. The rest of the items in the bag are a little bit smaller, so I'll share a look at those with you at my overhead video here in just a second. But before I do that, the swag bag itself was a piece of swag. I know that I mentioned in my second day, or my second vlog in the series, the first day of the event, that I had seen somebody carrying around this cute bag, and I just kind of thought, oh, they probably made it to bring, because a lot of people were making special things, you know, like, I made Lisa and I's backpacks, she made us our little badge reels, and lots of people made t-shirts, so I thought it was just part of that, but it was what our swag came in. Isn't it so cute? Let's go ahead now and take a look at the rest of the stuff in the bag. First up were some paper kind of informational items in the bag. This is a catalog from Stampin' Storage, which I mentioned provided lots of the prizes. And then over on the right, there was some stuff going on in Des Moines that weekend. And then you got a wooden nickel that if you went to the Uptown Garage, you could get a dollar off any draft beer. We did not partake in that, but hey, maybe I could cover that up with some pattern paper later. 
when we registered everybody got a lanyard with their name on it and then on the back it showed your class time if you signed up for it and what you had selected for lunch each day which that was a good thing because I definitely did not remember the next thing I was super excited about, I haven't yet opened it, but this is from Jennifer McGuire. And you'll probably recognize her Share Handmade Kindness logo here. And let's go ahead and see what's inside. So we have a little square kind of postcard here. And on the back it says, I hope you enjoy this gift. Keep sharing handmade kindness. It is a wonderful way to make this world a better place. Now I have seen people that receive cards from Jennifer show these on Instagram, so it's kind of cool to have one for myself. And then inside of it are three stickers about card making. So excited about these. I'm going to find a special place for them. And finally, because it was a craft event, we all got some crafty goodies. The first was this clear stamp set called Mini Slim Botanical Sentiments, and it just has a great array of different greetings. And then to go with that, we got the red rubber stamp, the Mini Slim Botanical, so you could make this the focal point of your card and just switch it up with what greeting you put inside. Also in there was this mini slim masking stencil. So if you want to do some ink blending inside or outside of that little rectangle in the middle, and then there are engraved lines for the size of your cardstock. And finally, we got some drip drops in metallic gold and red. Now I want to show you what we made during the weekend. That's going to include those 10 make and takes and Lisa and I signed up for the extra class and I'm going to show you the four cards we made and the exclusive product we got to make them. Are you ready? Before I show you the projects that we made, I just wanted to kind of give you an idea of the baggies that they each came in. All of the items for each make and take would be in its own baggie. And then for myself, if I had anything left over or extras, I just put them back in that baggie for later. When we got home, they did send us a PDF of each of the make and take station flyers. Just in case you didn't get one done, you could go ahead and finish it at home. We also got a package with envelopes for each of the cards we made and some Share Joy envelope seals. Now let's look at those make and takes. I'm super excited to share a close up look at each of the make and takes with you. These are not in order necessarily of the make and take stations because Lisa and I kind of bounce back and forth, but you'll at least get to see each one close up. The first one to share is this little chocolate holder. So if you wanted to add this to a present or put it in a stocking, it's totally adorable. And hey, there's chocolate inside. This is a mini slimline and you might recognize this stamp and the sentiment from some of those items that I got in my swag bag. Now something fun about this mini slimline is it opens from top to bottom, which is a little uncommon and it was fun to give one of those a try. Another adorable mini slim line. On this we did the stamping, die cutting, coloring. We did some stenciling on the bottom half of this. And then you might not be able to see it, but there's even some stamping behind the little animals in the windows, little blue snowflakes. A birthday mini slim line with some rainbow stenciling in the background, a die cut window, and if you look at the cake, each of the frosting layers has a little glitter on it. The next card is also for a birthday. We used a three-step stencil in the background, and then we used one of Taylor's stamp and die combos where there are lots of birthday sentiments on one stamp, and then you cut it out with the dies. I do have probably, I don't know, seven sentiments left from that that I can use on a card later. You know I love a shaker, so this one was especially fun. And hey, I'm gonna be all set for birthday cards. 
in the shaker is different glitters and then if you can look in the background that color is actually strips of colored cardstock and then on the front of the window is a die cut celebrate you now this card we did share and talk a little bit about on our live Q&A from the hotel, but this was probably the most difficult one. This is what I believe they call a theater fold card, and you open up the sides to reveal the message inside, and then it will sit like that, which is pretty fun. Now the instructor on this, Lori Craig, was so patient and knowledgeable, and she helped this be a little bit more easy to make. Here we have a Christmas card, which uses a stencil for the background. And I think I did actually end up buying that. So you might see it again later. I just love the poinsettia and that you could actually change that up with what colors you use. And there are some of those gold drip drops in the center. And last but not least for the cards is this fun rainbow card. You know I love a rainbow. So we did some stamping here for the focal point and in the background there was a circle mask that we used a cloud stencil on. This is probably my favorite card out of all of them. And last and probably my favorite make and take of all just because it was different was a pair of earrings. Tailored Expressions sells wood earring blanks as well as some dies and printed vinyl to use with it. But what we did, instead of using the vinyl, we put Versamark on the bottom triangle of each shape and we embossed that with gold embossing powder. I thought these were just so fun and I love wood grain stuff, both in card making and in my real life. So I did wear these during that live Q&A from the hotel if you want to see me modeling them. Let me know what your favorite project was in that comment section below. And now it's time to show you everything I bought that weekend. Now you know that I have been saving for a while and I did Shop Your Stash September here on my channel so I could save up money to spend during the weekend. Well, good news is I got lots of great stuff and even better news, I didn't spend all the money I had. Let's go ahead and take a look at everything I got, both at the Tailored Expressions on-site store and at Memory Bound Scrapbooks the last day we were there. First up are the goodies that I got from Tailored Expressions. I was going to stop and talk about each of the items with you for this haul, but that ended up being 13 minutes. And I'm already at 24 minutes editing and I haven't even told you how to enter the giveaway. So I hope that for now this little look will be okay. Now if you do want me to edit the footage of the full haul and upload that, you can let me know in the comment section below. This last stamp, it is called Crafty Collage Background. I actually got this for free for spending over $100 at the on-site store. Next up are the goodies that I got at Memory Bound Scrapbooks. You're probably gonna recognize a few things from the video. I cannot wait to put my new goodies to use. I really hope that you have enjoyed this vlog series and kind of going along with my sister and I as we attended Stamp Joy 2021. If you did, as always, you know, I appreciate that thumbs up. Now I'm going to tell you how I'm going to celebrate my time at Stamp Joy, but give you the present. Linked in the description box below is a Google form with a little trivia about my time at Stamp Joy. I was inspired to do the giveaway this way because of the Craft Olympics showdown, which you would have seen in the last vlog. In that form, which we'll look at on screen here in just a minute, there are 12 questions that cover the whole vlog series. So all four videos, including today's. 
you will earn one entry into the giveaway with each correct answer. So if you just want to answer one question and go for it, you can. Otherwise, if you answer all 12 questions and you get all 12 right, I'm going to give you a bonus three entries. So you could have up to 15 entries in the giveaway drawing. One lucky participant will win a $50 gift certificate to Tailored Expressions online store. Now the reason I'm going with 50 is it's a pretty big event to celebrate and Tailored Expressions offers free shipping in the United States when you place an order that's $50 or more. So this way you don't have to waste any of your gift certificate on shipping. You can go there and buy yourself $50 worth of product and if you live in the United States it will ship for free. Now, after I take a look at the form with you, I will go over all of the other entry rules and guidelines and dates. Let's go ahead and do that. When you click on the trivia link below, this is the form that's going to pop up. At the top of the screen is some basic information, including the fact that YouTube nor Tailored Expressions are sponsoring or affiliated with this giveaway. It is solely my own. The first thing you'll need to let me know is your YouTube username. If you're not 100% positive about that, leave a comment on a video and see what pops up and that's what will go in this section. Next, just give me your first name and then I'll need your email address. Now, I won't be contacting you if you win. This is just to verify that the person who won is the person who entered. I will only accept winner inquiries from the email given so make sure that you put in the email address that you're going to use if you win and that fine print is right below the email address question next you'll click yes or no if you're subscribed to my channel if it's a yes you can keep going if it's a no you'll need to come back here and subscribe before you fill out and submit the form then you're going to answer each of the 12 trivia questions. Once again, each correct answer is an entry into the giveaway. And if you get all 12 correct, you get a bonus three. Now, all of these fields are required. So if you're not sure of an answer, you still need to type something in like you don't know or just give a wild guess. And then you have to click submit at the bottom of the form when you're done. If you don't click submit and get that verification that your form was entered, you need to go back and retry it. Now I'm going to tell you a little bit more about the rules and who can enter. To enter the giveaway, you need to be a subscriber to my channel who is at least 18 years old and I believe this will be open internationally. Keep in mind though, you probably will have to pay for shipping and you'll want to make sure on the Tailored Expression site that you can put in your address and make a purchase. Your Google form with the trivia answers must be submitted no later than midnight central time on Sunday, November 7th. That will give you two weeks to watch all four videos and get those answered. You may only enter one trivia form. If multiple ones are sent, I will only keep the first one. So make sure you have all your answers ready to go when you get ready to fill out and submit that form. Once all the entries are in, it will take me probably about a week to compile all of the valid entries and do the drawing video. So you will need to stay subscribed and I will be back to announce the winner on or before November 14th, 2021. I will give more information on that video how to claim the prize, but the original winner will have one week to claim before I will do a single redraw for the giveaway. Thank you so much for joining me for all of my Stamp Joy 2021 vlogs. I want to say good luck in the giveaway if you're going to enter. And until my next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. Now I hope that you'll consider clicking on one of the playlists or videos I have linked above.